in the series of learning programming in CA, we are discussing printing pattern programs in C. So, in this video, I'll talk about how to print this pattern, this alphabetic pattern, right? We'll see the logic on this whiteboard, then I'll show you the output on my laptop using VS Code Editor. So, I have discussed this kind of pattern in the previous video also. There we have printed what? A in second line also A, B, then A, B, C, A, B, C, D like this, right? Now, this is a little bit different from the previous pattern. So, first, please check out the previous video, then come to this video, you'll get it better now after checking out the previous video then you will get it better but here we are printing a in second line b b then c c c then d four times then e five times like this you can print multiple lines here i am taking only five lines right now if you want to take 5 10 15 lines then that also i'll show you when we'll discuss it on my laptop first you have to do you have to analyze the pattern and you have to divide it into number of rows and columns with the very first thing right now, how many rows are there in this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows. So, I loop. The outer loop would be run from 1 to 5. Right? So, first thing, the outer loop would be i is equal to 1, i less than equal to 5 and i plus plus. Right? Now, within this outer loop, inner loop would be to print these values. Means that would be responsible for these columns. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is J loop would be responsible for actual printing the inner loop. Right? But now, see, when I value is 1, J is executing only one time. When I value is 2, J is executing two times. When I value is 3, J is executing only three times. Because we are printing only in three columns. These two are only space. This is what trailing space. We, we don't have to print the trailing space. Right? If the leading space is there, means the space is before the, the printing of the, these alphabets, that should be taken care, right? That we will print. That the, Those kind of pattern also we will discuss in separate video. Now, see, I hope you are getting my point now. Now, inner loop would be executed from j is equal to 1 and j less than equal to what? i, right? I hope you are getting this relation, why j less than equal to i and j plus plus right now in inner loop what we will print now in printf see if i write this in a in a computer memory how this a value would be stored using character system s i character system a is equal to equivalent to 65 and that would be print, uh, converted into binary and that obviously binary numbers are stored in computer memory only zeros and one computer can understand right so if i if I write it something like this, 65, 66, 66, 67, because C would be 67, then 68, and then 69, right? This is A, B, C, D, E, like this, 70, 71, like this, right? Sky values of these A, B, C, Ds, capital A, B, C, Ds, small A, B, C, Ds are having different Sky values. Now, we have to print something like this. Now, in first line 65, then 66, 67, like, like this, but we are not printing actual integer value, we are printing character values. To print a character, what should be the format specifier in printf? Percentage C. You will not write here percentage D, you will write percentage C, right? Because we are not printing integer, we are printing character. Now, what you will print here? This is a little bit different from the previous case. Here also, we have only I and J or you can use some numbers you can some you can do some addition multiplication division and you have to find out what you will you can write here right so now what i can print here if i write here something like this like 64 plus i or you can write i plus 64 it's up to you right and semicolon fine now that's it and in the outer loop what we will write post slash n sorry for the new line operator and that's it right now let me write on this program see see first of all i value becomes one would be initialized with one one less than equal to five yes condition true will enter here now j would be initialized with one one less than equal to i value is one yes condition true will enter here now print a percentage c 64 plus i 64 plus i value is one 65 65 means we cannot print 65 because here format specified percentage c means you should you, you should print means you have to print alphabet 
and corresponding to 65 alphabet is capital A. So now capital A would be printed, right? J plus plus J becomes 2. Is this condition true now? No, exit from the loop slash n means control will be in the next line, right? Now I plus plus I becomes 2 now. Condition true 2 less than or equal to 5. Yes, we will enter again here. J would be again initialized with 1. Now, 1 less than or equal to I value is now 2. Yes, condition true we will again enter here. Now, 64 plus I. 64 plus 2, that is 66. Corresponding to 66, we have character B. B would be printed. Now, J plus plus, J is 2. 2 less than or equal to 2. Yes, condition true. Again enter here. Again, what will print? 64 plus I. I value is still 2. Means 66, again B would be printed. In the previous video, we have written what? 64 plus J. Because first time we were printing A, then B. Right? Then first time J is 1, then 64 plus 1. Second time, 64 plus 2. Right? That is 66. That is why A, B would be printed in that case. But here we are writing I only. Because same character we are printing B and B. Same character we are printing C. Right? So, we cannot write down here J because J would be what? First of all 1, then 2, then 3. So, in 64, first of all 1 would be added, then 2, then 3. But we don't want this. We want only same character that is C. So, in 64, if we add the value of I, 3, because in the third, for the third row, I value is same for this column also, for this, for this also. So, if we add I in 64, then every time when JLU would be repeated, what? Same value would be added, that is 3. And every time C would be printed, right? So, I hope you got my point now, why I am writing 60, 64 plus I here. Now, what? J value is 2, again B would be printed, J value is 3, not condition, not true, exit from the loop and in the new line. Now, I plus plus I becomes 3, condition 2 will again enter here and this process would be repeated how many times? 5 times, right? When I value becomes 6, condition not true, exit from the outer loop and 5 rows would be printed here. I hope you got it. Now, let me show you the output on my laptop using VS Code editor. So, now let me create another file for this. alphabet pattern 3.c right and this is actually same as the previous one so I am uh, I mean uh, it's a little bit different so I am just copying the previous code here the pattern 1 code here and whatever change you will do that I will show you here just to you know save the time let me just clear this terminal first of all the previous output. Now see in the first row, I want to print A. In second row, B and B only. Then C, C, C only, not A, B, C. Right. So, for that, what you have to change? The outer loop would be same. The inner loop condition would be same. But here, what we will print? Here, rather than J plus 64, we are printing what? I plus 64. Because J value is changing 1, 2, 3. But I want only same character like B in second row, C in third row. That is why and I value would be same for those iterations right so that is why I am writing here I and uh, let me just run this how many rows you want to print 5 see I guess this pattern, pattern you need right now let me just run this again for uh, 12 number of rows see I hope now you got how to print this pattern and uh, if we run for how many? Suppose 30 number of rows here. But alphabets are only 26, but we are printing 30 rows here. Now, till 26, it is printing alphabets till Z. And after that, it is printing the characters, which is corresponding to the sky value, which is computed by I plus 64, right? So, this, these are the characters that are printed here. Now, I hope you got these printing pattern programs. So, I hope you got it. Now, I will see you in the next video with a new pattern. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.